Hey lovelies, so as promised, this is how to set up your Google Authenticator app. How to set up your Google Authenticator app. So on your mobile device, just locate your app store if you're using an iPhone or locate your Play Store if you're using an Android device. Now, and you, you will install, you search for Google Authenticator, Google Authenticator, then you have to install it. It's a very, it uses very small um, space on your device. Now, you can not do screen recording within the Google Authenticator app. That's the reason why I'm using another phone to record on this particular device. So I'm just installing it now. And once it's done installing, I'm going to click on open. So if I need to my channel, my name is Susan and this is Susie's vlog. This is where I share everything crypto trading, airdrop tax solution, airdrop update. So you click on get started uh, and then you choose the Google account you want to use and click on continue. Then you're going to click on add code. You can also change your account. That is, you can change from one email address to the other. So you can set up your account by either scanning a QR code or entering a setup key. I usually go with the first option of, of uh, the second option of entering a setup key. So if you click on um, scan a QR code, it will automatically take you to your camera and you're able to scan the QR code on the app you want to add on your Google Authenticator. So you click on allow if you want to use this option to allow you to use your camera. But I'm not using that. I'm using enter a setup key. So I'm going to be adding a gray account to this particular um particular Google Authenticator. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my gray app, my gray app, and I'm going to click on the two FA update security that is two factor authentication security. Then I'm going to scroll up and I'm going to to um like set up my security um question and all that. Then I'll click on two factor authentication and I'll click on set up now. Then I'll choose the authenticator app. Yes, authenticator app. So on any app you are using, whether Instagram, Facebook, or any bank, I make sure you choose the authenticator app. Then I'm going to copy this setup key. I'm going to copy it. See, you can use the QR code to scan this QR um image. But I'm going to click on the this key here. I'm going to click on that key. That's the key I'm going to use on the Google Authenticator platform. So once I'm on the Google Authenticator platform, just like this, I'm now going to name that account gray so I don't make mistake. So if you have like one, two, three gray account, just make just write gray one, gray two, gray three. Same thing goes to Facebook. You can add Facebook and Instagram. You can add any bank or any social media network. Then once you enter the key, you will, it will automatically give you a code. This code expires every, I think every five seconds or so. So you have to use it on time. You now go back to the app, you put that code, you click on continue and you click on done. You have to use that code as soon as possible before the code changes. If not, you have to go back again and start the process all over. Then I've already set up a gray, um, uh, my gray app. Or I've already linked my gray on the Google Authenticator and now my gray is very secured. Yes. If you have any question, ask me in the comments section. I usually respond to questions. Leave me thumbs up and subscribe. Find this video helpful. Just watch. You see that this code changes itself every about, I think maybe every um, five seconds or so. So yes, you can also add as many accounts as you want. Social media accounts, bank accounts. Um, and all that. See, Gray is a bank account. You can add Facebook and add Instagram and add TikTok. Just unfortunately, they're not allowing me to do recording. Um, they're not allowing us to screen record on the device. I'll show you multiple of my accounts there. So that is all for me for now.